Shalom, unto the elect of the nation of Israel, which were considered the 144,000 and the one-third that's destined to be saved of so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American descent by the seed of thy father. And furthermore, before I get into my lesson, I want to start off by giving all praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka, Chodash. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone that teach and that rule well today. And citation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry and the believers that's in the faith that's scattered worldwide in all truth and sincerity day in and day out. Shalom. Um, so I'm just going to get into a, a quick lesson. As you can see, you know, I got this website, thepeoplesvoice.tv. As it goes into, a, you know, uh, certain articles that's doing that's dealing with current events. And we know here at Great Millstone, starting with the apostles, elder apostles, bishops, and the elders and the brethren on down. Okay, we know to get into um, prophecy. Okay, taking current events and filtering it out through the scriptures. Okay, which is the job of a prophet to do. Okay, as we're in this calling. And now we're witnessing, you know, here in 2024, as we always, you know, going to the coming destruction, as it's prophesied, the destruction of America, which is known as Babylon the Great in the scriptures. Okay, which this place is our captivity. And who the world called Christ, Yahweh Shai, is coming back to redeem us or deliver us. Okay. For modern the destruction, as we're about to enter into the time of uh, Jacob's trouble, okay, according to Jeremiah chapter thirty verse seven, okay, we're about to experience a time like no other, man. Okay, we're about to witness um, uh, famine, pestilence, okay, uproars of the people, a financial economy crash, the implementation of the RFID micro which is known as the MOTB or the mark of the beast in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. That's going to replace the physical dollar. And as these elites of Esau Edom moving towards a digital currency, and that's all leading up to the time of the Lord wrath, man. And basically this lesson I'm going to get into is civil unrest. Okay. Cause to say all that, man, eventually this place, America is going to be destroyed by the way of thermonuclear fire. At the peak of the Third World War, and when Yahweh Shai returned with the hosts of angels, what the world will call UFOs, which are the chariots or the vehicles of the angels, and the salvation of the elect from out of this place. Okay, even though the elect is going to be delivered worldwide, where have we been scattered? Okay, but primary here in America, because this place is going to be a totally annihilated, and we're on that verge of the, of the step of that, man. Uh, but the latest news you have. It is whole um, border crisis, okay? Well, you know, uh, uh, through the regime of Biden, President Biden, how he allowed a lot of these uh, immigrants or migrants to come up into the borders, okay? And, you know, it talks, uh, you know, amongst them that a lot of them are criminals or, or soldiers, okay, or carriers, okay? You know what I mean when I say that. Cause we know that these elites and Biden ain't nothing but a puppet. Okay, we know that these elites and the less luminary ones have an agenda to cause um uh, order or, or to cause chaos to bring order. Okay, problem, reaction, solution, and that's part of the NWO. But now you hear the talks of Texas and other states forming together to protect the border. Okay, for you know possibly a uh, invasion. As it's getting out of control now. So they're just letting people just freely come across the border. And I got a couple of articles, like I say, off of people, um, voice.com. And I'm going to start off with the first one, as you can see. Uh, Governor Abbott declares Texas is prepared for conflict with Biden regime as 10 states send National Guard. Okay, 10 states. Let's click on that one. And all this is biblical prophecy, man. Okay, scriptural. Okay, let me see. Let's see what those 10 states, if they do, they mention them. Uh, let 
I don't see. But basically, you're starting to see, you know, the division, okay, civil unrest, okay, here in America, which all that is prophecy, okay? And it says, Texas Governor Greg Abbott has declared he is prepared for the conflict with the lawless Biden regime as 10 states has sent their National Guards to Texas border to protect against the invasion, okay? Hey, so it's about to go down, man, and 2024 is coming in rapidly uh, hot man okay which this is what we want us of the hopeful elect okay because the sooner okay things you know quickly erupt when it comes to prophecy the sooner that the lord is about to bring deliverance let me see on um, and it says gop governors issued joint statement back in texas in its border fights with feds okay and it says, Trump doesn't want to solve the border problem, says Mitt Romney, okay? And you know, you know, you, and you see that in the news lately, okay? As we're approaching the 2024 president campaign, and you can have Donald Trump saying that he's going to run again, and you got certain states, you know, trying to ban him, <clears throat> and you know, um, over the whole January, the Capitol situation, you know, you know, you got Trump making the statement lately that if he become reelected as president, he's not going to um, set up a CBDC system. OK, central bank digital currency, which all that ties into the RFID micro. OK. <clears throat> and so, so now you're starting to see people, you know, want to try to side with Trump. OK, to vote for Trump, get Trump back in the office. And get rid of Biden since his whole four year campaign. Okay, the the you know the the disappointment of that, which both of them play the same um uh, the, the both play the, the same side, man. Or they play the you know uh, they play for the same or they do the same bidding of these elites, okay, when it comes to the Democrats which which Biden represent and the Republicans which Trump uh represent. Okay, both of them are the same, you know, the, as we like to say, the, the two wings of the same eagle, okay? <clears throat> and so Trump ain't really going to do nothing. And they can come to the point that they can introduce or introduce or institute it or implement martial law, okay? When the when the military take out the, over the government, okay? And knowing that the president is the uh, chief executive, Okay, whoever at that time, okay, going to allow the the um the military to take over. And that's where we headed. Okay, as we seeing civil unrest about to take place. As America is at the point of exploding, or imploding, imploding it within itself, man. Okay, with the financial crash is coming, it's looming. Okay, the financial woes, inflation, soon to be hyperinflation, poverty, job losses, okay, homeless. Okay, you starting to see America, okay, when it comes to their citizens, ready to take out arms, mainly these average Edomites, okay, they're ready to go against their own government. And that's all scripture. They're talking about taking the rights to bear arms, okay, on uh, limiting certain ammunition. And we know Texas, when it comes to their, their gun laws, they're known for having uh, open carry, okay? Hey, so, man... This whole border crisis, which I think um, when Trump was in office, when that 2020 situation came, you know, the, C the CV-19, he had passed a law. I forgot the name of the law. When he had passed it, when he had shut the borders down. But recently, under Biden, Biden regime, okay, it had expired. And ever since then, Biden just, you know, under this regime, Biden just let, let any uh any old person or immigrant come across the borders and like i said a lot of it is a lot of uh, is tied into their agenda okay let me see um this one right here says homeland security insiders warn terror attacks implement due to biden open border okay so now you're talking about the risk of terrorist attacks we know what's going on over there in um 
uh, over there in the Middle East, okay? You know, they talk about, you know, you might have soldiers from Palestine coming up this way, okay? Soldiers from those Islamic, Islamic groups, okay? And they said they got all type of nations over there on the border, okay? Chinese, okay? They say they're military age men, okay? Certain Africans, okay, the uh, Central American, South America, coming up to the to the borders, okay. Saying that it can, can be a threat, or possibly of a, a terrorist attack, and if a terrorist attack do happen, best believe America is at the head of his head of it when it comes to their own attack here on their own soils. And it says Donald Trump demand all winning willing states. Deploy National Guard to Texas border. Okay. Yeah, so that's the hot topic right now. Amongst a lot of things, but mainly that the border. But meantime, you got the average Negro Latino Native American being distracted. Okay? Not preparing themselves. They're not looking they're not uh, measuring the times. They're not listening to the, the prophets on the highways and byways. They scoff and scorn, make mockery of the Hebrew Israelites when it comes to the videos, okay? They not um not paying attention. Okay, they're not preparing themselves for a possible possible uh cyber attack, EMP attack, terrorist attack, civil unrest, okay, a financial crash. Majority of people in the mind frame are being distracted by bread and circus. Okay, you got the sports events going on, okay? NFL playoffs, you know, college, you know, um, basketball, you know, etc. In the NHL, okay, how people are into the latest trend, the latest gossip, the latest fashion, okay, what's happening on social media, okay. Not taking things serious, man. But in the meantime, here in America, all hell is about to break loose, man. And the only ones paying attention is us of the hopeful elect. But real soon, as Elder Apostle Tahar coined this year, 2024, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble is, is, is near. Okay? And it's going to be a time like no other, man. And now people are going to be a smack dab in the middle of these civil wars. Okay? These uh, uh, race wars, clash wars. Okay? The Third World War. Okay, they talk about a, a draft. Okay, that they want to implement. Okay, so we on that verge. So, so let me go ahead and get into the scriptures, and I'm gonna start off with Isaiah chapter 19, verse um one, and it says, "The burden of Egypt, behold." The Lord rideth upon the swift cloud. Yeah, in, in America is known as the modern day or spiritual Egypt. Okay, because you ain't going to actually see the word America in the Bible. It's codified or symbolic under different ancient empires. And when you read into the Bible, we know that ancient Egypt was the first captivity of the Israelites. Okay, so today America, and that's a known fact through history, how America was established by the enslavement. Of the Negro, of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, which happening to be us today, the Israelites, okay. And it says, "The burden of Egypt, behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud, and the burdens are coming to this place, okay. And that swift cloud, cloud represent when Yahweh shall return, by the way of the hosts of uh, angels, the chariots, where the world call you UFOs, which making more and more their appearance, okay. These uh, UFO sightings increasing. That now this 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 military and through this government is uh is warning about. Okay, and they ain't gonna say they so called black men or, or dark skinned men. Okay, they gonna paint it up as little green creatures. Okay, aliens. Okay, where they portray in these Hollywood movies. Okay, but all actuality, they are the vehicles of the angels. Okay, and the angels themselves. And how Yahweh Shah is going to return to wage war. Matter of fact, I thought I seen an article just now. Let me get that real quick. Let me read that real quick. Let me see what it says. 
Um, here we go. And it says, Pentagon Insider admits, admits most UFO sightings are secret military crafts. And that's, you know, false. Like I said, I just wanted to see what it... And they do mimic, trying to mimic the, the chairs, by the way, their technology, their advanced weapons. Okay? But Yahweh Bashmiel Shai and the angels are more advanced than Esau Edom uh, military. And that's why when Yahweh Shai returned at the peak of the Third World War, you're going to have these nations fighting against Yahweh Shai as they have the, the space force. Okay? Their weapons out of space. Okay? And as they got weapons or vehicles that are trying to mimic the chairs. Okay? They got, you know, they got their fighter jets, the helicopters. Okay? They, you know, they when it comes to their war tactics. Okay? But they're going to miserably lose. And you can read about that in um, Revelation chapter 12. Okay? <clears throat> when it says that Satan and his angels, okay, going, in, going into Satan, going into Esau Edom, because Esau Edom is known as the wicked, Malachi chapter 1 verse 4, and there are the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan here on the earth, and that ain't hard to tell by now, okay? And it says that when Satan and his angels are going to fight against Michael and his angels, going into Michael being on the side of Yahweh Shai, ultimately Yahweh Shai and the angels, the chariots coming against Esau Edom and their military and these heathen nations, okay, and their armies at the time of the Third World War, okay? So when it says Satan and his angels are uh, fighting against Michael and his angels, okay, there's not going into what these Christians think that you had uh, Satan fighting against the Most High and some rebellious angels and the Lord kicked them out of heaven. That's a fable. That's a, that's a myth, okay? That's actually going into when uh, Yahweh Shai returned to fight against Esau, Edom, uh, military, and these nations. Okay? <clears throat> and it says, uh, and it says, and we done done lessons on that, so, you know, if you're uh, interested, you know, just look up Revelation 12 and 12, or uh, Revelation 12, okay? Uh, Great Millstone. <clears throat> and it says, Isaiah chapter 19, verse 2, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. And this is the division, okay, civil unrest. Okay, like I say, America is modern day or spiritual Egypt, okay? And that's where you're starting to see the Americans against the Americans. Civil unrest, states divided amongst each other. Certain um, government officials, okay, politics divided amongst each other. Ready to fight against each other. Ready to go to war, civil war. And it says, and they shall fight every one against his neighbor. I mean, every one against his brother and every one against his neighbor. City against city, kingdom against kingdom. So that's the division. Yeah, ain't no coincidence. They even, in, uh, well, April the 26th, uh, 2024, they post a premiere movie called uh, Civil War. Okay, touching about, you know, Civil War here in America. And it's a movie. But soon it's about to become reality. And Esau, you know, and these Hollywood directors, okay, they show a lot of subliminal message in these movies, okay? The latest one was uh, Leave the World Behind. Um, so that's it on that. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 7. Okay, red letter. Okay, because Yahweh Shai gave the understanding to the disciples or when it came to the end time prophecy, when they look what to look for of his second coming. And this is one of the, the, the signs of prophecy. Okay, that's going to be manifest. Man, Ma Matthew chapter 24, verse um, 7. For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdoms. Okay, that's that civil unrest. Okay, division, civil unrest. Race wars, the Third World War, okay? And it says, and there should be famines, and that's about to take place, take place, famine, okay, the lack of bread, and pestilence, a pestilence, they're talking about this whole, the, the, you know, the X, okay? Look that up, okay? When it comes to the latest pestilence, okay, the unknown, okay, that's ready to be spread and, and you know, and they're specking uh, uh, 
many people to be uh, affected. And I'll leave it, at, leave it at that. But we're in the time of pestilence, okay? Earthquakes, okay? Severe earthquakes happening, okay? All throughout different parts of the world, man. Oh, you just had one at the beginning of the year that hit Japan, okay? And it says, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And we come into that time, the beginning of sorrow. But the point I wanted to get was nation rising up against nation and kingdoms against kingdom. Let me get this and um show you that everything is that the, the Bible is authentic. Okay. And this is a living a living document. Because we're actually living in these times now, which was prophesied a thousand years ago. And the Lord had raised up the prophets back the uh, back up again today to go out there and teach his word and get warning. As we in these times that these prophecies are being fulfilled, what the prophets saw back then. But this is second edges chapter thirteen. Let me see verse. I'll start at verse twenty nine. And it says, Behold, the days come when the Most High will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth. And the only one that's going to be delivered is the elect. And he shall come to the establishment of them that dwell upon the earth, that dwell on the earth. Verse 31. And one shall undertake to fight against another, one city against another. And there go your civil unrest. Okay? Your civil wars. One city against another, one place against another. One people against another and one realm against another. Yeah. Okay. So all this is the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. What's taking place on the right hand side and what's taking place on the left hand side. Because ultimately Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai control the wicked when it comes to Esau Edom. They're just following the the the, the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And the Lord is going to allow Esau Edom to come down with that sword, which is his blessing. Okay, he's gonna come in that sword by the way he's gonna come by that sword by the way of um his advanced military. Hold on, give me a minute. Let me see if I'm still on. Okay, I think yeah, yeah, I'll keep going. So that's it on that. So that's another scripture right here to, to go into the times that we're in when it comes to civil unrest. Second edge chapter 13, verse 31. Okay. Hold on, give me a minute. I just want to see how I make sure I'm still on. All right, I'll continue on through the spirit. And I'm going to, you know, get ready to close anyway. Because I don't want to make this video too long. But this is 2nd Edges chapter 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and dumb that the world dwelled in. Okay, the word woe means destruction. And that's what's definitely coming. Okay, especially to this place, America. Because you're going to have uh, incidents or, you know, chaos breaking loose worldwide. But nothing, no other country going to get it worse than America, Babylon the Great. Okay. And it says, for the sword and the destruction draw of nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another. And swords in their hands and the modern day swords. Is the guns okay? Because the sword is known as what an instrument of war, a killing instrument. So when Edris seen this vision, he didn't have the terminology, the terminology, okay, of the gun back then. So he described it as close as what an instrument of war, okay, was, and that's the sword, okay. And it says one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands, okay. So there's gonna be a lot of shootouts, okay, a lot of. Uh, people going against the martial law, troops, the military, okay, when it comes to American citizens, race wars, civil wars, okay, you can, you know, paint the picture. For there shall be sedition among men, evaded one another, and they shall not regard their kings nor their princes, and they might their kings and princes that they, but the presidents, the governors, senators, mayors, okay, civil unrest. And it says, in the course of the action, shall stand in their power. So they're going to take matters in their own hand. Okay, the citizens. Okay. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. 
But yeah, that's going into martial law, curfews, barricades, travel bans. Okay? For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, and the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword, and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So that's how bad it's about to be. Okay, the lack of food. You already know, you already people, people, you know, people attention when they ain't got no food. Okay, when they you know they starving. Okay, and they're going to have to, you know, get it by any means necessary. And a lot of our people going to be, you know, in that time of trouble. Okay, men, women, and children. Especially, especially you women. Okay, because you women ain't exempt. Okay. When it comes to Ezekiel chapter 9, starting at verse 4, okay, and 5, it goes into how the Lord says, Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, okay? And the only one that's going to be protected in that day is the elect, start with the elect men. And you women that's going to be part of the elect, they're going to have to come up under uh, elect men, okay? As the Lord say that, uh, uh, what is Isaiah, when it said that the, uh, the men should be, uh, the Lord said he should make a man, okay, as a hiding place. And he said he should, he should make a man more precious, precious than fine gold. Let me get that one real quick. What is Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 13, verse 12. And I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man that of the of the golden wedge or ophir, and that's going to the elect men, okay? Because in that time, when all hell break loose, the Lord going to lift up a standard, according to Isaiah chapter 59 and 19, okay? The Lord going to have miracles being performed, okay? The angels going to be protecting the men of Yahweh Shemashai and those that come up under uh, that household of the, of, of the elect men, okay? You're going to have certain men receiving spiritual power, okay? When all hell break loose, man. A lot of miracles going to be performed to bring in the rest of the elect, okay, when it comes to the believers. Okay, and that spiritual power going to be for healing and it's going to be for defense. And that's what we're looking forward to. Us that's waiting upon Yahweh Bashim Shai to be our covering, to be our defense. Okay? So let me get this. What is Isaiah... Isaiah chapter 32, verse 2. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Okay, so that's going into the protection that Yahweh Shemal Shah is going to set up through his men. Okay, when it comes to um, the elect. And women are going to have to come up under that. Okay, Isaiah 4 and 1. Okay. And that, you know, like I said, in the one third going to include men, women, and children. Okay, but but it starts with the 144,000. Okay, 12,000 men out of each 12 tribes. Okay, of the nation of Israel. Okay, starting with men here in America. The elect here in America. And like I said, you're going to have elect men scattered worldwide. But domically, okay, or primarily here in America. Because this place is going to be totally annihilated by those missiles. And before that, all hell is going to be breaking loose, man. And the only ones that are going to be saved out of that destruction is the elect, starting with the men. So that's it on that. Let me see. I'll go back to second address. Second address, chapter 15, verse uh, 19. I'll read that again. And it says, a man shall have no pity upon the neighbor, but shall destroy the houses with the sword and spoil the goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So that's how bad it's going to be. And it's already at that point now. Okay, this this place is already waxing cold now. You've seen lately in the news what's happening. All these senseless murders. Okay, by these Americans. Okay, these people are on the edge now. So how much more when it's, when it's lawless? And so, you know, we in that time, man. Matter of fact, I end off with this. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And it says, 
and that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep and that's why we out there us that's have been woken up and has been called into this um faith by the way of this ministry this truth okay to start with us the hopeful elect the prophets as we out there giving that warning to you negroes latinos native americans about repentance and come back and acknowledge your sins and knowledge shy, the true living power of israel the true living power of the creator of all things okay and hey, we warn you about the the the, the coming destruction we warn you about Esau, Edom, and the Lord putting the spirit on him to come with that wrath, okay, to represent the Lord's sword, okay? We warn you about the civil unrest, all hell breaking loose, okay? And the only way you can be delivered out of that, if you are the Lord foe of the elect. So now it's high time to wake out of sleep, okay, spiritual sleep, because a lot of our people, they still spiritual, in a spiritual slumber. A lot of our people, they still believing in Christianity. Islam, Roman Catholicists, Scientologists, Kemet, the money system, this government, okay, and at the, all at all at the end of all of it, when uh, when all is said and done, when all hell break loose, Esau Edom ain't gonna be pushing that, and he as he lie on you now to worship all these false gods and these idols, it's gonna be if you gonna even gonna submit to the NWO and take that RFID micro, the MOTB. If not, then you're going to be executed, okay, or, 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 or cut off. And those of our people, as as we always get that warning, not to take that MOTB, because ones of our people that take it, according to Revelation chapter 14, verse 9, if you take that micro, that sea hill, you're going to be destroyed by those missiles, man, and the chariots, that's going to bring fire, according to Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. That's why here at Great Millstone, okay, we always get that stern warning not to take it. But you got other camps out there that's not pushing the RFID micro being the MOTB. And that's why they're going to lead their congregation to, to those missiles. Okay, if they don't change their tune. Okay. Because Revelation chapter 13 verse 16 is, and no doubt, it's the MOTB when it comes to the RFID micro. The, the, the next digital currency that they want to put in people. And I'll keep it as that. So now it's high time to wake out of sleep. And it says, for now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. And how do we know our salvation is nearer than what we believe? Because we're seeing prophecies being fulfilled. Okay? So we're right at the door of Yahweh Shai's second coming. So I'm going to go ahead and end the lesson here. And I pray that the lesson be edifying. Until the next time, Lord willing, Shalom to the elect. Shalom.